Welcome to clickmyproject.com Let me discuss about the project Beam Forming for Multi-User MIMO OFDM in different channels with multipath diversity. Let me discuss about the abstract of the project. Wireless communication system use a multiple user scheme such as time or frequency division but this do not allow truly simultaneous use of the spectrum. By deploying multiple antennas and the beam forming, it is possible in principle for users to share the spectrum simultaneously and this scenario is called the multi-user MIMO interference channel. In this modern age of high speed wireless data communication, multiple input, multiple output, orthogonal frequency division multiplexing schemes have recently drawn wide interest due to their capacity of high data rate transmission over multipath fairing channels. This thesis work introduces the study of multi-user and multi-antenna MIMO OFDM system. In this work, the performances of two main classes of MIMO OFDM system that is multi-user and multi-antenna MIMO OFDM techniques have been studied. In the existing system, the system exploited uplink downlink SINR DLT joint transmit receive optimization based on null space constraint was introduced but none of the existing system can be applied to the more complicated interference channel. In this project, the system proposed a three beam forming designs for multi-user, multi-input and multi-output with orthogonal frequency definition multiplexing. All the solution of the proposed system allow for exploiting multipath diversity where the complexity of the decoder is independent of the number of antennas. The proposed methods are also computationally simpler but at the price of one more antenna element at each terminal. Let me discuss about the flow diagram for our process. Initially, the data are transmitted to the encoding section where LCP matrix precoding are used. Next, the precoded data are transmitted to the modulated. Here, QPSK modulation schemes are used. QPSK means quadrature phase shift keying. Next, the modulated data are transmitted to the IFFT block. In this block, the frequency domain signal are converted into time domain. Next in the cyclic prefix block where the CP data are appended with our input data because for reducing the intersymbol interference. Next the data are pa uh, con parallel format. Then the parallel data are converted into serial using parallel to serial conversion. Next the beam forming are included. Here three beam formings are performed. Optimal Rx beam former. In this section the transmit beam form are found from the null space of an appropriate set of channels and then the optimal Rx beam forms are sought. Where and in the positive integers the beam form is obtained by orthonormal basis for the null space. The next step is to determine U such that the maximizes the signal to noise ratio of the ith user while suppressing the k-2 remaining interference terms. This optimization problem is denoted for the first receiver. Beamformer designs follow by the same methodology. Maximizing of the ratio of quadratic forms is known as problem with an eigen solution. But here the difference is that the P has a constraints. The different problem leads to a different solution. These constraints force the interference for the first user as an example to be eliminated. Next in the join Rx beamform and the Tx beamform. In this model, join Tx beamform and Rx beams are designed for the constraint SNR maximization problem by using the extended alternating optimization. It is EAO algorithm for multi-objective optimization where the feasible set are designed. Generally solving such a non-linear constraint optimization problem is difficult. However, it first for each objective function there is a unique global minimizer with respect to XI. Then EAO approximates the difficult problem solution by simultaneous solving the following K problems. Next, the third beamforming techniques are transmit and RX beamform design. In this model, multi-objective optimization by a fixed point method is applied and apply DX beamform and RX beamform design for joint constraint SNR and SINR by EAO algorithm. Instead of G, which is optimization respect to V and, and U, 
define the problem again this problem is maximizing an alternative notation Nash equilibrium point for two games the optimization problem is possible by using evolutionary algorithm for example all of the beamformer designs presented here are closed forms next in the feedback rate in this model the feedback of the presented beamforming is compared with the existing interference channel beamforming schemes the analysis for flat channels is extended to wave dim schemes scaling p is established we can use the interference channel in previous section the complexity was demonstrated to be higher than existing system next in the receiver side the appended cyclic prefix are removed next the fft block are inserted where the time domain signals are converted into frequency form next in the qpsk demodulation the modulated scheme quadrature phase shift king modulated or demodulated next the sphere detector algorithm are performed uh, this algorithm used for performing decoding operation finally we obtain the received data uh, the performance has been analyzed based on the received data and also transmitted data here BR performance SNR and SNR are estimated these are performed based on the summary performance approach based on the transmit beamforming design let me discuss about the running process for our process select the main.m file in the current folder right click the file and run for executing this process and here we obtain the simulation results and this is the sum rate performance of the three approaches the third approach and also ls transmit beamforming design here four number of users are performed and this beamforming methods are implemented in the IEEE 802.11 in channel model and this is the BR response for the maximization of sum rate EAO and also the maximization of sum rate using gradient approach uh, here four users are performed and this will be implemented in IEEE 802.11 in channel model A and here this is the BA response of approaches 1, 2, 3 for three number of users with and without beamforming LC, with and without LCP coding and here the number of transmit beamforming is K plus 1 and whereas number of receiving beamforming is k uh, in this method both transmit and beamforming are same and this is the BR response for 2, 2 and 3 approaches and here the number of users are 3 and here the G of 0, 1 channels are used here the number of transmit antenna is 4 number of receiver antenna is three and four beamforming designs have been investigated for a multi-user network with manageable interference having reliable communications links for all users can be guaranteed by the proposed designs thank you